Ding dong, she's our queen bee. We love her endlessly. It's I've been practicing this, guys. Christa Siegfried. Yes, that's correct. Sounded good. Say it properly for us. Go on. Christa Siegfried. All that's right, good. okay. <laughs> Sounds so much better when you say it. How are you? Welcome to London. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. I was here last time in January performing. Uh, and uh, I love the parties in UK. I'm so happy to be back. It's so much fun. Well, I've not ex- experienced a finish party yeah. yet. What you finish haven't? parties? I know. Why? What are you telling me? Then you have to join. We have, for example, the Eurovision cruise coming up on the 31st of August. That's an amazing party. You should join it. Oh, just wait for my invite, Krista. <laughs> well, I'm inviting you now. <laughs> no, but the Finnish parties are amazing. I think it's a bit same. I think we're a bit same as uh, the UK people. You know, we're good at partying. Well, we've been looking forward to you coming uh, to Eurostars in London. Tell us a bit about what you're going to perform. You have to do Marry Me, obviously, because it would be illegal not to. Of course, of course. <laughs> and then I'm going to do my Melody Festival and songs. Fanlands, Nura Mi Jord. And also some surprises, but Eurovision-related songs. Oh, wow. We can't sure. wait to see you on stage yeah. tonight. Let's talk about Eurovision, because it yeah. was six years ago. It's crazy. Wow, time flies, wow. really. Yeah. You look wow. younger, though. How's yeah. that happen? <laughs> yeah, you think so? No, but uh, what can I say? I mean, Eurovision, like 2013, that was my big breakthrough in Finland when I won the Finnish selection UMK and went to represent Finland. And since that, everything has just happened, you know. I've been touring, releasing music, I've done a lot of TV shows, been hosting. So it was really, yeah, I'm going to be forever grateful because that was when it all happened to me, my big breakthrough. So. I, uh, I, ha- I love it and I love your vision. I always back, you know, at some par- some parts like I'm doing, I've been uh, uh, working for the Finnish broadcasting company mm-hmm. and I've been uh, uh, doing the commentary <laughs> for Finland. So I love to be a part of it somehow. And then I obviously love these fan parties too. So it feels like when you, once you get into the Eurovision bubble, you never want to get out. Well, you'll find tonight, you'll be really, really close to the Eurovision fans tonight. Yeah. Some of them are a bit crazy. You must know that from... Yeah, but I love that. I'm crazy too, hey, come on. <laughs> we don't get a sense of joking. <laughs> but you have been kept very busy, because obviously, um, UM, I was trying to say, and finish that. UMK. Now. UMK. Yeah. yeah. Um, you've been presenting that, so yeah, you've been... Yeah, for four years now, yeah. Uh, I've been presenting it for four years, and I love it, and I've been a big part of it. I'm there also writing the songs for the opening acts, the interval acts, and we're planning all these uh, costumes and outfits. and uh, So it's it's really, I, lo- I love it. It's my favorite TV show to do, because um, it's such a big part of it. Yeah. Well, you're, you are a lot of fun. We saw that in your Eurovision performance. Um, what a standout performance it was in 2013. Yeah. Um, obviously, there was the, the kiss at the end that yeah. offended some people, and we just brush yeah. that off, don't we? Exactly. Right? But, I mean, there was ding-dongs all over the stage. There was lots yeah. going on. You must have yeah. enjoyed... You must be nervous, but you must yeah. be having so much fun while you're performing on that stage. Yeah, wow, it was. And the, the whole team, like me and my ding-dong girls, we had so much fun, and it's, it's an adventure I will never forget. You know, when I look back at it, it was just fun and joy and love and yeah I want to go back to it (laughs) can I ask about the kiss as well was there ever any doubts about doing the kiss no actually there wasn't because uh, it was really important to us uh, for us to make a statement because at that time it was not legal gay marriages were not legal in Finland and we wanted to make a statement we were like hey come on we're gonna vote about this we are the new generation we're gonna show where we stand that's right yeah so it was really for us it was so natural, you know, it was never a big deal. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, it was in some countries, unfortunately, but like I said, yeah. we just we just brush it off. Yeah. It made a statement. Maybe you played a part in, in gay marriage being legalized in Finland. How does that make you feel? <laughs> yeah, well, that's amazing. I, th- I think that every everything, every small step is is important, you know, and I think this was, yeah, there was one, okay, there, this was not so small. It was a big statement, but of course I think that affects people. The more you see things like that, the more you normalize it. It's, it becomes normal, and I think that's important. Mm-hmm. So the song was called "Marry Me." Yeah. Um, I'm too late to propose. So I think you're already married now. You got married. Oh my! You know what? I've got married, but I have also got divorced. So it's oh been no. The whole. <laughs> She's so, available. She's yeah, available. Available again. Yes. Yes. So uh, yeah. On the other hand, we can get married. Hey! <laughs> you saw it here first, guys. That's all part uh, of life, isn't yeah. it? Marriage, divorce, it always yeah, happens. Yeah, but you know, that's how it goes. You know, it's it's really, that's life, you know. Of course, sad, but then again, yeah, 
New adventures coming up. That's right, and we love new adventures at Eurobox. Yeah, yeah. So what is coming up? Um, obviously, yeah. we're hoping to see you back at UMK next yeah. year. I'm not sure if that's been confirmed yet. Uh, yeah, no, I can't tell you anything about that yet of because course. I don't know. But I'm going to be a judge in Finland's Got Talent. So that's going to be a fun adventure for me. Yeah, we're going to start recording it now, September, October, and then the live show starts in March. And I'm just going to be there looking for the next Eurovision star. Yes, that's what <laughs> we're talking gonna about. You're going to keep your eyes up for that, right? But it's going to be really fun. I haven't done that before. I've been a um, judge at The Voice Kids, and that was really fun. So I expect this to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, Finland don't take part in Junior Eurovision, I don't think, do they? No, they don't. So maybe there could be a link from uh, The Voice Kids to yeah. Finland at Junior Eurovision, maybe in Poland. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, oh, oh, wow, I don't know. We don't, we don't have a, a, a kids, a Voice Kids anymore. So, but um, no, I'm really excited for this Finland's Got Talent. And I have uh, new music coming up also. Well, I was going to ask, have yeah. we got any new music coming yeah, up? Tell us. That's because uh, I wanted to tell you, because I'm also very excited for it, because I haven't released any music in a long time, and now I'm finally going to do it. Uh, the 30th of August, on that Friday, it's going to drop on Spotify. So, wow. yeah, I'm really excited for that. Uh, is it a song that's dropping or a full album? Uh, a song. A yeah. song, a so single. it's a little taster. Yeah, a single. So. So it's and it's about uh, all these things I've been through now. So it's it's not a marry me song, but it's more like uh, that song. Like, can you see me? If you heard that one, it's in the same landscape. So if you like that one, maybe you'll like this one. Well, a true artist is a versatile artist. So yeah. we're looking forward to seeing some uh, some different styles from you. Um, Thank you. Now I want to know what the naughtiest thing is that you've ever done, or the most recent naughty thing that you've done. Because you've got that glint in your eye, Krista. I can see you've done some naughty things in your time. <laughs> Yeah, but I think I uh, revealed that maybe at the after party. <laughs> <laughs> Someone get this lady a shot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Give me some shots. Tell you everything. <laughs> um, yeah. Craziest thing a fan has ever done for you. Oh, craziest thing. given you. Mm, yeah, I, wow. I got a lot of uh, presents. But I, I had once some fans that really wanted to buy my shoes. Yeah, and I thought that was a bit um, maybe naughty. I don't know. They wanted they had these leather shoes, and they were willing to pay a lot of money for them. Did you sell them? I didn't agree on it. Oh. I should have, but then it, I felt it was a bit weird, so I did not do it. <laughs> oh. A um, fan with a shoe fetish. <laughs> well, there are some Eurovision uh, fans that are really, really crazy. We love them, uh, don't we? But yes, there's some crazy I Eurovision fans that. out there. Yeah. And also, what's the biggest lie that you've ever told? The biggest lie I've ever told that I would never reveal that here. <laughs> Ooh, there's lots, lots more to find out about Krista, yeah, I think. Yeah, Maybe yeah. off camera. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, you're being called to your next interview. We can't wait to see you uh, yes. performing tonight. We're so excited. Thank you. Me How long too. are you going to be in London for? Are you flying straight back? Yeah, the thing is I'm flying very early tomorrow because I'm going to go for vacation. I'm going to go one week to Ibiza. Yes, to now we're talking. Yeah. Now we're talking. <laughs> so, yeah, it's really fun. So, yeah. Well, have a great holiday, great performance tonight. Um, and you pop up everywhere in Eurovision World, so we will yeah. see you again and we can't yeah, wait. Yeah, of course. It's Krista Siegfried. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> hey. That was good. Thank you.